Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Wednesday, May 25th, 2022. This is a public hearing portion. Uh, first off, I'd like to acknowledge that we are meeting on the traditional lands of Acadia First Nations, part of Mi'kma'ki, the ancestral territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Item number three, statement of purpose. Uh, this public hearing is to consider rezoning PID number 9029818 Broadwood Road Pleasant Valley from rural development to rural commercial for the purpose of an environmentally conscious tourism cabin resort. Item number four, call for presentations. 4.1, the municipal planner's report. So, turn on your microphone. Hi everyone. So I'll just run through a quick uh, verbal presentation on the proposed tourist cabins. The application is to amend the land use bylaw to rezone PID 9029811 off of Broadwood Road in Pleasant Valley from rural development to rural commercial. Uh, the applicant intends to build eco-conscious tourism cabins on the site um, he's aware of the riparian buffer and has already placed all the cabins outside of that the cabins themselves will have no running water and only be supplied with solar power and then there is a central washroom dishwashing service center in the center of the uh, development. So the municipal planning strategy regards campgrounds, tourism cabins, um, and similar uses to be suitable for most rural areas, which this would be considered. Um, and actually, as we start the new municipal planning strategy engagement, uh, Upland has indicated that they've heard a lot of uh, feedback from the public in support of ecotourism specifically, so it looks like a great fit for what the people want. Um, with that in mind, we moved to first reading, and now we're at the public hearing for a rezoning to rural commercial. Um, the feedback we've received from the public so far is We've had a couple phone calls on one written submission. The only major concern seems to be possible increase of traffic on the road. And to that end, we've asked that the applicant, we've required that the applicant receive a approval for commercial driveway access from TIR since it's a provincially owned road. And that will bring the increased traffic uh, to the attention of the province who can determine what additional maintenance may or may not be necessary and how it might affect other residents. Uh, the other question we've gotten a lot is whether there'll be ATVs, power sports, like that kind of stuff. And the applicant has indicated that he has no interest in that. It's, it's really the focus is on the ecotourism, quiet, low impact, uh, walking trails, that type of thing. And he spent some, some time obviously spent some time on the layout to try and minimize possible impact on the lake. So with that, all that in mind, we think it's a good fit for the area. So I think that sums up the uh, application. And with that, does anybody have any questions, comments? Nope, I don't see any. Uh, present presenters Ellen Burton. No, I don't see her here. Uh, we do have uh, a couple gentlemen in the gallery. Do you wish to present, or are you just observing? observing. Just observing. All right. Item number five. Call for written submissions. We have one from a Wanda and a Patrick Robichaud. So, Mr. Chair, as um, Mr. Robertson had pointed out, the concerns are around the road traffic and with requiring the approval for the commercial entrance um, and it being a provincial road, um, 
you know, the province will kind of make any uh, decisions with respect to concerns around traffic. All right, no other written submissions, Madam CEO. All right, call for council comments. Deputy Warden Trevor Cunningham, you have the floor. All right, I'd, I'd, I'd say that um, given that our planner has done due diligence through, through the Planning Advisory Committee and through council and all of our processes have been honored and, and policies have been honored and, and I would, um, I'd move that uh, the Municipality District of uh, Yarmouth rezone PID. On uh, that's not done here during the oh, public hearing. Oh, my apologies. Correct? Yes, public hearing. Yes, yes. That 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 would be that that would be done in council. You're jumping the gun. <laughs> Is there any other council comments? Councillor Sherry Herbert, you thank, have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, through you, maybe to the planner or you and the CAO, when the applicant goes to TIR and asks for the commercial driveway or applies for the commercial driveway. Will that happen before it comes to council for approval or as ours contingent on them getting, I, I don't know how that process works. If, if we say yes, we're going to rezone this, but then TIR says no to the commercial driveway, have we then said it's okay without the commercial driveway? And I'm not sure how that works. Uh, so that's a condition that's included for the, uh, I guess, the development process. So at the point where development were to start, I, I think TIR actually requires that it's zoned correctly before they're going to come in and okay. look at it. Um, I'm not sure on that, but I, I think that was what Roger had said. So the development officer will be looking for the approval from TIR before they can Commence. Before they can get the development agreement signed. Well, before they get a develop an approval per and a permit. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments from council? Councillor Nick Hilton, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And just Derek, can you kind of elaborate? Um, because we're rezoning this now. Um, Obviously, public always have concerns of what the uses can be after. Um, if we change this, is there any? I think we talked about it once before. Before it could go on to something else. Is there a check and balances kind of, or does this make it rural commercial, no matter what? Uh, so it is rural commercial, and any rural commercial use would be allowed as of right. However, a change of use after a rezoning like this requires a site plan approval. Um, at the time of site plan approval, a uh, letter would go out to nearby residents. We go through the usual public participation. And uh, at that time, there'll also be a public hearing where the public has another chance to come in and speak to the new use and how it may affect them. Thank you very much. Actually, that was a question that was on my tongue before Councillor Hilton had asked it. So I see no more calls for council comments any any more hearing none i move someone adjourn this meeting moved by councillor nick hilton seconded by councillor lauren cushion all those in favor signify by saying aye, aye. opposed motion carried unanimously